Hey, just a short comment this morning. I was thinking, reading the paper, well, reading the internet, you know, I read on the internet. And um, when you think about this damn balloon thing, I mean, it's insane. The space is full of satellites where the, the, everybody spies on everybody. And the US government, in its, uh, it's in a crazed, paranoid situation at this point, if you think about it. You've got a, 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 the most powerful, dominant country, uh, an economy on Earth, and mi most militarized, and it's losing or it's facing a rising competitor that's a real competitor, and it's in a paranoid state. Uh, any state, big power in this situation would be this way, and they're dangerous when they're like this. The British colonialism in its decline was equally as brutal equally as brutal and so when you think about this nonsense about the balloon never mind all the other stuff they put figureless they fill the media with uh, the kim kardashian people's sex lives and everything else so but this balloon thing is just absurd and why do they do that if you think about it and most people won't think about this the ILWU, which represents the dock workers on the west coast of the United States, is, has been apparently, it's like a blackout, almost like they talk about the old Soviet Union, you know, nobody knows anything, they control information. It's been in dispute with the port bosses for, uh, I think, since September or October or something. I don't know what's happening. Nobody knows that I know what's happening and I'm active, I've been active in the labor movement. And this union can shut down the West Coast of the United States. The ILA, which organizes the dock workers on the East Coast, and I believe the Gulf states, the Gulf ports, they also can shut down. I mean, there's tremendous power in organized labor. And we can demand and win uh, many things if we use that power. Well, it's not even reported on. We don't, we hear nothing. The leadership of that union, most likely, like all of them, has completely uh, let the employers know, no, you're not going to have any threats from us, don't worry, um, we'll make sure capitalism and profits are sacrosanct, they'll stay okay, don't worry. There's been a media blackout, nobody says anything, and so it's not in the consciousness of most Americans that, that this immense potential power uh, of organized labor, of labor in general, but even organized labor, which is a relatively small percentage of the working class, this it has the ability to to completely bring this country to a halt. And yet, there's a blacklist on it, and uh, and uh, and it's it's not in the in in the in the media. Instead, this stupid thing about the balloon, and and there's a reason for that. They don't want that in our consciousness. If we think about this power, we'll use it. And so that's so important for us to realize and recognize, you know, because uh, uh, it's clear where our most, uh, the, the immediate danger and our immediate enemy is. It's within our own country. It's our own state. It's our own government. It's not the Iranian mullahs, as nasty as they are. It's not the Chinese who are, are not the cause of our lack of health care or lack of public services or lack of housing or lack of public transportation. Our enemy is here. And think about that, that we work with, they, they, they've got the filled about a balloon, uh, the media is obsessed with a balloon when these two, uh, 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 when this immense class struggle is potentially there between uh, powerful organized labor and the bosses and the employers. Think about that. Why have we heard nothing about this, this dispute that could shut down the, the, the largest economy in the world? That's real power. And there's a reason they keep it from us.